Oh, look at that. Man, that is beautiful. They're coming right at us, aren't they? Just suspended in the water, just floating. Yeah, they are, they are floating nice, brother. We got on them earlier and kind of spooked them out. They're not eating the artificials too good. So we're gonna throw the old chunk of crab at them. Oh, nice. The crabulous. Reel it back, reel it back, reel it back, reel it back, reel it back. Stop. How about that one? <laughs> that was nice. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. He's off. Oh, he's off. Never did get the hook set him. God, he just went right after it. He did. Look at him, they're all tailing right there. Just put it right out there. Just going over the top of it, Blair, right now. Get ready. There he is. Nice. I got him hooked that Oh, thing. yeah. I think you got him that time. <laughs> that was a fantastic hookup. Do you see that fish just nailing? Man, that took us just so long. We had And we had to go to the ultimate bait. <laughs> it's all right. That laser sharp's right in the side of his head. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> well, you know, they just don't want to eat for a while, and then it turns on like a light switch. Oh, this is, this is, this, this fish is P.O.'d. <laughs> He said, get me back into the school, Blair. Now, I'll never get tired of catching these redfish, which brings us to the open of the show. We're in Mosquito Lagoon, back here, right here on the Space Coast. Got my old buddy, Captain Troy Nash, on the back of the boat. Just absolutely gorgeous, and redfish everywhere. This one's under the boat. Oh, nice fish, Blair. Yeah, that ain't a bad one. Now, let me get down off of here, too. Oh, beautiful fish. That is a gorgeous fish. All right, you want me, you need some help? Well, I don't need no help. Oh, <laughs> well then you, you got it, man. You got it, you know the deal. This one again you got up. the drill down pat. Look at that laser sharp, right where it needs to be. Oh, nice. And a beautiful redfish. That's a nice mosquito lagoon redfish. That is, that is. Boy, that hit was incredible. And as you can tell by the sweat beading off of us, it's only what? <laughs> it's 9, 30, 8.30 in the morning. And it's hot, it is hot already. But uh, we're gonna be catching redfish today. Lots of them. Lots so, of them. Lots of them, hopefully a little bit bigger than this. That is absolutely a nice redfish. And he's got a belly full of crab. Did y'all see the size of that crab? <laughs> he's just a big chunk of crab going through the water. Uh, and he is a pretty fish. Oh, and there he goes. Cam Troy. Thanks for sweating so good in the early morning like this. Oh, no problem, man. <laughs> it's been a while, so you know, it was really a joy to, to see those fish come up like that this morning and Definitely. be able to get one this early. Well, they're right there. Let's get back on, up on them. Y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back with some more addictive fishing right here from the Space Coast and Mosquito Lagoon. I'm spraying sweat as I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> It looks so much better with no condominiums on the beach. Oh, you're not kidding. It's like God intended it to be. Did you see that one stick his head out of the water? Yeah, I saw it. Well, welcome back. We got, uh, got the school of redfish right out in front of us. We got the Minn Kota doing the work for us now because you can tell Troy's getting a little bit warm on the back of the boat. My hands so are So we got the electric push pole going a little bit. <laughs> and luckily that boat that was out there jumped up and scared them right to us. You know, a lot of people think you can't get on redfish with a trolling motor, and that's a mistake a lot of people make. They'll see the school and they'll go and try to get up to the fish real quick. But if you see, I got it down here on like 25, which is 25%, and it's just real quiet, and you just kind of ease up to them. And once you get close to them, you just wind it down real slow. You don't want to, you don't want to cut it off real quick because that'll be a sudden change for them. And I've actually had them spook when you turn it off. So. Just goes to show you, you can get on them with a uh, trolling motor. And plus, Troy back there, he's glad you got that undershirt on so you don't show your sweat. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> but you know, for 10 years I pulled this lagoon and I learned all the tricks and all you've got to do is just get up wind of them. Let yeah. the wind be your friend. That's it. Use that trolling motor on low. Hell, up. I've, I've gotten to the point where I can almost troll over the top of those fish. I mean, if, you, if you're willing to just have a little patience, you will catch a lot of fish. And just make, you that, make your cast count and don't hit them in the tail. Absolutely, because they're not anal feeders. <laughs> <laughs> they're holding their tails so long out of water, they're gonna dry them out. That's hot. <laughs> I think they're just suspended right there in front of us, Blair. Why don't you go ahead and cut it off? They're right there. 40 feet in front of us. They're going from left to right, Blair. 
Nice, nice. Oh, nice cast. Come on, bring it to him. Bring it to him. Oh, he's. Oh, did he get it? Get yeah, he it. did. Oh, nice. Hook up. <laughs> oh, nice. Man, those eagle claws are the way to go. Look at him. He's trying to stay in the squad. I think it's a bigger fish. Is that a big fish? Yeah, it's a good size one. Yeah, because there's medium, there's some small, but there's some me mostly mediums and bigs. Look at that school going off. Look at the mullet jumping in front of him. That's hot. That's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I think this one just thought he was a big fish, Troy. He's, he's not coming. big? Oh, he's coming oh, right through us. Oh, 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 oh. We might be bigger uh, than I thought. He's got a little juice in him, man. He might be bigger than you think. I don't want to put too much heat on him. He's only got eight pound test power pro in him. Well, you know, sometimes, Flair, those medium fish will get in there with those big fish and you, you never know what you're going to catch. I mean, th they range from, you know, 9 to 12 on the medium size to 25 to 45 on the big fish side. And you're talking poundage. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> those are some big boys. Well, you know, Troy, when I, when I first started guiding, everybody out there, when I first started guiding, the Space Coast here was pretty much the only place other than Louisiana where you could come and get these big giant redfish in shallow water like this. Oh, and, absolutely. And all over Florida now. I'm living over in Bradenton now, and we got on some schools of fish over there that were every bit as this big, and there was probably 250 fish in that school. Well, you know, Blair, I think that, you know, if we manage our redfish stocks properly, we're going to have redfish for, you know, generations to come. It's just a fantastic fishery. They're hard fighting fish and just a lot of fun to catch. Man, it's hot water. Yeah, he's not fighting much anymore. But you know, the, the law of solubility states that the hotter a liquid is, the more gases it expels. The colder it is, the more it retains. That's why you have more oxygen in the water during the winter. And even though they're somewhat lethargic because of the cold, they fight really good. And during the summer, they'll give you a good burst of energy and then they run out for, you know, fairly quickly. You said the law of solubility, what did you say? The, the law of solubility. solubility. <laughs> yeah, the law of solubility. Well, cool. He's been reading books, I guess. Now, I, I've had people tell me it's only the females that drum, but I've had them both drum. I've, you know, and you, it's easy to tell when they're spawning what sex they are. Oh, absolutely. Look at that. He ate that crab up. Boy, those laser sharp hooks are awesome, aren't they? Right where it was supposed to be. Now, that's a pretty red fish there, ain't it? That is a nice one. Beautiful Mosquito Lagoon redfish. Let's go catch another one. Let's do another one. See ya, buddy. Until he gets going, and a lot of times, I've, I've said this before on the show, but if you're tuning in here and you're catching redfish, a lot of people like to go back and forth like this. That really doesn't do anything but pass. It passes air over the fish's gills and stuff, but when you, you fight them in this hot weather like this, they get that lactic acid built up right in the, right in the fillets here. And if you've ever run a long ways, you get the cramps in the back of your legs. Uh, same things happen to these fish. And they will actually, you gotta, it crystallizes, so you gotta like give them in a swimming motion until they just kick off like that. And once they kick, you know, keep an eye on them too, because sometimes they'll just kind of go down and go belly up a little bit, and just touch them with a the push pole or jump out and give them a little whack and then swim on. But uh, thank you, Mr. Nash. You're welcome, Blair. I think I'm gonna crack me a crab and catch me another. <laughs> <laughs> Go and do it. <laughs> Y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back with some more addictive fishing right here from the Mosquito Lagoon. That's just awesome. That's hot. That's hot. <laughs> Hunk o' crab. Ooh, look, Blair, a million fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome back. What we've done now, we've come to the south end of Mosquito Lagoon. Before we were up about, about in the mid part of Mosquito Lagoon, but we've come to the south end. I was down here scouting yesterday, come up on these big, big redfish. So we're gonna tool around the area here a little bit and see if old fish boy back there can put us on the fish like he did the first show. He, by the way, he was the very first uh, guest guide. Yeah, that's right. Yes, I was. And that was about, what, eight years ago? About eight years ago, yeah, man, a long time now. He ain't lost it none. Matter of fact, he gained it. <laughs> <laughs> that was wrong. <laughs> oh, 
there's a nice big one. Right out there, Blair. Got him. Nice little ripple on the water. That one just stuck his head out of the way? Yep. That's him. <laughs> Don't wet yourself. <laughs> oh, anal feeder. Yeah. Just tell my clients, hey, they eat with the other end. Oh, look at those tails. Watch your tail. pink-looking manatees right there. But he got to move off with it. He's got it. He's got it. He's getting in. Oh, nice. Nice. Very nice. nice, brother. Out of school. <laughs> oh, I can see him hitting the line. <laughs> Hold it up top. Oh, yeah. Well, I'd high-five you, but I don't want you to take a hand off that reel. <laughs> <laughs> see if the old Wright McGill will work on this one. Oh, yeah. Yep, freight train. Troy, these fish here by far have got to be the biggest ones I've ever seen in Mosquito Lagoon. Oh, absolutely. I you know, think they're just getting bigger by the year. so much time over there guiding. But uh, since I don't guide anymore, I guess these over here got a little bigger. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. That's a big fish. Man. That's a you big, big fish. Oh, my. What do y'all see this red oh, fish? that's just beautiful. I think I can grab this guy. You got him? Yeah. Yeah, they get pretty docile in this hot water. I think we will grab this one. He's not the super mugging. Trust me, folks, there's some nice. giant, giant fish in that school. Bigger than this one. Whew. Oh, he swallowed that one. That's a beautiful fish. What's he saying? He's saying, put me back in that hot water. <laughs> <laughs> put me back in that hot water. Heck, y'all get a good view of this here. That's just a medium fish. You know, people here would probably think, you know, ah, that's a big fish, but they don't realize these are just medium-sized fish, that nine to 12 pounds, you know, fairly common out here, but then you get into those larger fish that are 25 to 45, and uh, I'm sure you know the school I'm talking about, some of those 60-pound fish. Yeah, that's not the that's not the super mugging, but that is a mugging. Tell you what, for y'all that meet me at the boat shows and stuff, see how long my legs are? This fish right here is as long as my leg. What a beautiful red fish. That's a big fish, Blair. I think we're gonna have to work a little harder for some of those yeah. bigger ones in there. They looked, they were bigger. eyeballing us. They're getting bigger. Absolutely. I'm gonna send him back to the old depths. Nice, Blair. That was an awesome red fish. Well, you want one of these muggings you've been pulling around all day? I'll put you on one. Yeah, man, that sounds good. Sounds good to me. I'll re-rig and get you ready. Rajo. Rig It Right by Wright and McGill. All right, folks, on today's Rig It Right segment, and we're gonna show you what we were using out there today. We're using a laser sharp, just basically what, you know, I call a meat hook. It's kind of a J-style hook, and we were using 30-pound test fluorocarbon leader, eight-pound test Power Pro, and on this rod, this is the seven-foot model signature series rod, and I tell you, it was getting the job done early this morning. We were using these things right here was a good old blue crab. And the first thing you want to do with a blue crab is pop his claws off because they're just not you know, conducive to use out. Toss them in the water. And when you pop the top off, you got to put your finger right back here on the heel and you, you want to do it in a twisting motion, basically where you push up on the little point here and pull down on his hind flipper. And it just pops that top off. You can use that for other bait. And then what you want to do is break him right in half and the best thing about using crab like that, it gives you two great pieces of bait to use. I'm gonna show you how to rig these guys too. You take your hook and they have a little back hind flipper here and what you do is you hook it right in that flipper and you can really put the pressure on it when you throw it out and it won't come off the hook. There's your bait check for today. Hope you guys can get out here and do some fishing. Rig It Right by Wright and McGill. Size that one. 
big old red man. Hey, there's a school right there. Nice. Where's them fish at? Right over there. Over there. Up there. Up there and over there. Around there. Right there, Blair. I see it. The pink spot? Yeah. Do I you see, see the pink spot? I see a pink spot. Yes. It's a pink spot. It is. Good shot. Perfect. See that one flash? Yep. Oh, oh. There he is, baby. baby. <laughs> All right. That's on a DOA shrimp, Bubba. They get on this flat, they start foraging around for just what he's eating. Oh, on. I know. That's exactly what he's looking for. People <laughs> ask me all the time, you catch fish on this DOA shrimp? I say, watch out, what? I catch fish on them. Hell, I'm in the commercial. <laughs> 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 you better believe I catch fish on them. <laughs> yeah, baby. That's the way it's done. Hey, you know, last time I was on the platform doing this for you was about eight years ago. That was a long time ago, man. a long time ago. We were using those uh, Justa floaters and they were eating the top, uh, you know, top water plugs. <laughs> look at that school of oh, fish. Look, look, oh man, they're everywhere. That is awesome. You know, it ain't I, often I get up on this polling platform. You know that now. Right? Oh, I know, it's a privilege. How, so how long has it been since you've been on the front of the boat catching a fish? Quite a while, man, quite a while. It's, I know it's it ain't been, been eight time. years. No, absolutely <laughs> not, no. I'll tell you what though, I'm really enjoying that new 2200 I bought. That Ranger makes a, fantastic boat fit and finish above all else best one on the market absolutely just ask me <laughs> <laughs> she just asked me and i paid full price hey i think this is the flat that we were on one time when you said if that if that ranger makes it across that flat i'm gonna buy me one i promise you and he's got one now that, that's that's absolute fact right there i did i said i was gonna buy yours but i wanted a brand new one <laughs> they said they could give me a little deal I said, oh, what I want is, if I come in here with a problem, you drop everything and fix it right then and there. How many problems you had with it? None. I should have got a deal. <laughs> <laughs> How many eyes does this rod have on it? I think there's 10. Count them. Or can you count One, that One, two, eye? three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten. Ten eyes. Ten, I like that. You know, I like a, a, a rod and reel that's a combo made for each other, not yeah. just something that's thrown together. And this thing, it really is. I'm sure those Wright McGill reels there, we did some research and all the reels for years and years now have been made to, to go with monofilament line instead of the, the Power Pro, the super lines out there. Sure. And um, the, the spool on them is not beveled like a lot of the other spools out there. He's about ready, ain't he? Yes, he is. Let me show this fish off and Say bye to the folks out there. I'm gonna show this one to you though. This is, it could be the mogan of the day right here. I think it is. That is a big fish. That's a big fish to eat that little bitty DOA shrimp. Yes, sir. God, look at that fish. <laughs> and that is mogan from Mosquito Lagoon. <laughs> nice fish, bro. That is a nice fish. Thank you, man. Well, have you had fun today? Man, I had a blast. You know, it's been a while, so it was a treat to uh, be able to spend it with my buddy. There he goes. Nice kick. That was. Well, T-Roy. Yes, sir, Mr. Blair. I had a ball. It was good. good. If y'all ever want to do this, make sure you go to the website at addictivefishing.com and you can book old T-Roy here. Captain Troy Nash, Big Red Guide Service. Till next week, I hope y'all enjoyed, enjoyed today's show. I had a fun time polling, I can tell you that. Not, but. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. We'll see y'all next week. Hope y'all are seeing these tails. Those are sales.